In case you were wondering how the haha, you want to improve society yet you participated in one brand of conservative logic is doing, they're mad at Greta for writing a book while being a climate activist. Oh, let me guess, before we even see it, is it because she killed a tree to write this book? Is that what it is? Oh, God. Does anyone want to take a guess of the dumb shit they're going to say? Oh, this scared me for a second. It's from Bill McKibben. He said, I read it, and it's awful. Like, I thought it just said awful, but it's an awfully good book. Okay. Good job, Bill. Read my climate mani manifesto printed on dead trees today. Got her. How many... <laughs> I knew that this is what they're going to say. <laughs> How many trees were cut down to print that rubbish? Did you... <laughs> Did you drive a car to the printing <laughs> company? <laughs> Breaking, 20-year-old high school dropout puts together a scrapbook. Climate doomsday cold. Motherfucker, you're in the doomsday cold. If you're denying climate change, you're the ones who are in the cold who are trying to get us all fucking killed. The audacity of these people. Quartering, I'm doing my part to save the environment by not purchasing this book, which requires the murder of precious trees to exist. They're so fucking corny. Like, all I had to do was concoct the most boring, lazy attack that I thought they might lob at her. And sure enough, that's what they're doing. That's exactly what the fuck they're doing. This stinky motherfucker. I'm doing my part to save the environment by not purchasing this book. Don't pretend like you read the quartering. Don't pretend like you know how to read, okay? God. Climate change champion uses a rainforest to print a book about saving the planet. <laughs> we had to deforest the entire rainforest, uh, the Amazon rainforest, uh, just to print this book. But it was worth it, though. Worth it. How many trees? Oh, God. <laughs> it's just endless. How many trees are cut to make paper for this book? And you claim <laughs> as an environmental activist. On average, one tree will be cut for every 500 pages printed. I cannot. Hope no trees were cut down. Folks, I cannot handle <laughs> how unoriginal and lazy they are. Jesus. They've been using this same line of attack for decades now. Do you remember when um, An Inconvenient Truth came out? And there was like this huge scandal, uh, scandal about Al Gore and how... You know, he's not living up to the, stand the standards that he espouses. He drives a car. Okay. Like, we're not talking about individual actions here. We're talking about systemic changes that are needed to combat anthropogenic climate change. Just 100 corporations are responsible for 71% of global greenhouse gas emissions. So riding your fucking bike to work over a car, sure, that's great, but it's not going to make a difference in the grand scheme of things. That's not to say that like we shouldn't individually do things to mitigate our climate, uh, our climate footprints or carbon footprints, I should say. Like, sure, let's try to uh, eat less meat. Let's try to take public transit. Yeah, that's great. But at the end of the day, even if 100% of us put in this effort... The planet would still not be saved because, again, these corporations are the ones who emit the lion's share of greenhouse gas emissions. So unless we get governments to get them to stop, what we do makes no difference whatsoever. Dumberg has a new paper book, Guess Trees Don't Matter. I mean, what can trees do for the environment? <laughs> uh, okay, here's, here's somebody who's happy. Great source of toilet paper. Who's going to read an inch thick of utter BS written by some leftist ghost writer? I dare you to use this, Elvis, as toilet paper. I dare you. That will destroy your anus. I'll just leave this here because isn't it obvious? I mean, the hypocrisy. She's holding a book <laughs> and she claims to care about the environment. <laughs> I love it. Millions of trees were cut so that this book could be published. Even the ink could possibly be petroleum-based. Remember when somebody called into Dave and Pacman's show and they called me a climate hypocrite because there's petroleum used in the ink that went into my tattoos? The Humanist Report. Do you know how much petroleum goes into the tattoos that he has? <laughs> that can't be real. Oh, my God. How many trees? They're all going to ask the same fucking question. How many trees were cut down? You cut down trees for that? 
Surely you'd ma make a digital copy only if you cared that much about climate. Cut down trees to buy my book. The fucking irony. I'm sure that there is a digital copy. Chop down the tree. Oh, okay, this is the amazing atheist. Chop down tree to make book. Though therefore hypocrite. <laughs> okay, he's memeing him. <laughs> Grifting environmentalist. Prince book unnecessarily. Uh, how many trees? Let me just, you know what? Let me scroll down as far as I can. As far as I can. So that way it loads a bunch of tweets. And then what I'm going to do is go up and do a control F for trees. Cut down more trees. Come on. Oh, is it not going to do it? Come on. You stupid. God damn it. Twitter is fucking broken. Fuck you, Elon Musk. I'm trying to control F. It won't let me move to another tweet. Okay, well, Elon broke Twitter, so I can't do that. Thanks, Ellen, for breaking Twitter, you dipshit. Okay. How many trees, Gretel? Climbing my ass, you puppet. Talk about a waste of paper, LOL. I have such great respect for... Oh, no, this is... <laughs> this is... That's somebody who... I just... <laughs> a little preemptive there on my part. Hope no trees were cut down and make these papers that publish that book. I'm sure our government will make this book a bestseller, like they do with all the president books. It's how the damn money laundering system works. Couldn't make it online only, I suppose, <laughs> to save the planet, or at least, uh, or at the very least, print it on airline tickets of yours. <laughs> you ride planes, hypocrite, hypocrite. What's that? Did I hear a fart? That's methane, Greta. You're farting, therefore you're contributing to greenhouse gases. Hypocrite. Don't you know that in order to be perfectly, perfectly pure when it comes to the climate, you have to hold in all of your farts. Climate book by cutting down trees? Face palm emoji. Face palm emoji. <laughs> Expensive bog roll. What? Stop anti-white racism. Okay. So, I'm assuming... That this person is not a fan of Greta, but what is an expensive bog? Oh, expensive bong roll. Aren't you against that too, conservatives? Puritanical little motherfuckers. Cash out Susan. I mean, a lot of these are borderline incoherent. Oh, we got another one. How many trees were cut down to make your books? A PDF would be nice. What a waste of paper from Cranberry Pointy Toes, Kazi54. Wow, great thick book will come in handy when you deranged liberals do away with electricity and gas. Got him, Steve613. So many trees died for your book. I swear to God. An uneducated girl who refuses to go to school wrote a science book. We live in interesting times. <laughs> I, for one, am smart and understand the science. And the science determines that climate change is not real. <laughs> Idiot, you should have learned that. <laughs> You'd learn that if you went to school. Oh, this person's trying to ratio her. Climate hoax. Ratio much. Hashtag climate hoax. Well, Fletch, you're getting there. Let's see, she has a total of... 138,000 likes, and you have two. So it's possible that you could ratio her. So it's, you know, as long as you, you believe that it's possible, then I'm, I'm glad. How many trees cut to make paper for this? God, it's just, it's so much. And the grift has arrived. Trees eat CO2. Lumber is harvested solely using extreme fossil fuel usage. Paper made from wood. Books made from paper. Book is delivered via fossil fuels. Selling books is capitalism. <laughs> Good for her. Take the idiot money. God, they're just, they're owning her so hard. You didn't even write it, babe. <laughs> God. So they either are doing the whole... How many trees? Or, <laughs> sweetie, you're just not educated. You're too young. Come back to us when you grow up and have a degree in climate science. Otherwise, mm, sit down. So they're like going for overly pretentious, condescending, or just pasty-eating dipshits. Goddamn. Goddamn. Jordan Peterson decided to attack Greta Thunberg over this book. Let me find that, 
I want to see that. I love how Preacher Reptilian is in my searches, and that's like my one search. Two hours later. Holy shit, he tweets a lot. We've seen like... Dude, let me see. God, what the f***? There's one, two, three, four... Six, seven, eight, eight tweets within 16 minutes. Like we're averaging one tweet every two minutes. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. He tweets so much. Am I ever going to find the Greta tweet? Three hours later. Imagine if he tweeted this yesterday. It's going to take us all night to get to his tweet about Greta. One eternity later. Oh, here. We finally fucking found it. From yesterday, it took us like 10 minutes to find it, and we found it. Holy shit. Okay, I forgot what the f*** we've been talking about. So, we thought he was going to ask about trees, so here it is. What's the carbon footprint of the book, dearie? Or, is what you're doing so important that such niceties simply don't apply? Okay, well he, to his credit, he didn't bring up trees. But just mentioning the carbon footprint, I think it's kind of like in the same spirit. But, to be fair, I guessed wrong. So, um, holy shit, I'm sounding like Louis Armstrong. I'm going to end up giving myself like a sore throat by talking like that. This is the culmination of his career. Let's watch it. Thanks, Balthazar, by the way, for the $5 tip. I really rat appreciate that. Is this. The rats are all like this. The rat goes like this. So the rat's like this. The normal rat is like this. That's the normal rat. Like this. Like this. It sniffs. It's like this for quite a while. He's like this. And then maybe he sniffs. You are now a normal rat. <laughs> How have I not seen that yet? Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. Bitches. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. Woke moralist. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. Genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.